Hey guys, SJ here, making another tutorial video. This video will be about Stomp. And a lot of people have been asking me to uh, make more move guides, so I think Stomp is a good choice because it's a move that's pretty difficult to use and connect with. But the more you, like knowledge and skill you have with it, it becomes one of his best tools. It goes from being like a uh, pretty tough to use choice to Probably one of his like two or three best moves if he know how to use it. So I do want to get into that fully on this video. So why is Stomp good in the current meta? <clears throat> Stomp is um it beats CC. And that's huge in twenty twenty one. Like everyone everyone likes to like crouch and um, counterattack Falcon or any character really. And Falcon has a, a Stomp is a automatic ticket. <clears throat> to beating um, cross cancel. Yeah, note how when I like punch Fox here or hit him, he can immediately like CC and then shine or counter. So typically a Fox will like hit you, or, or when you hit them, they will like CC and like shine or down salts, jab maybe. And you know, you can hit Fox with one of your uh, weaker moves. He's he has a good chance to hit you back at like lower percents. Stomp totally like um, beats it completely. And um, yeah, that alone makes it very strong. Like Sheik doesn't have anything like that. Marth has like temper downer, but it's awkward to use. A lot of characters do not have the the luxury that Falcon does. Even the ones better than him, some of them. Um, it's obviously a great combo starter. Like any percent. It's like even with a fox tech in here, you can like follow up. Another typical choice is like a jab reset after the stomp. And um, it even comes into itself. Sometimes in an extremely good way. I'm trying to show like the possibilities you can do. Stop in twice, you can like do that. Obviously just stop me. And um, there's also this possibility where you do the nipple spike. You can tell if you got it because it sends in like Diagonally, like 99% of the time. And you know, you play like flo floaties, like uh, or some have floaties. It can be lower percents, and you get that kill at pretty pretty quick. And it's just like Falco's double downer, except uh, stronger, and it'll kill much earlier than Falco's. What it's also good for is you can um, shield poke with it too. Really valuable shield poke. Even in like on full fox shield with no ankle, you can like stomp on the ankle, back ankle, and like catch slipping. If they're above like 50 to 60, quick knee, and they, they are probably gonna die. And you know, you hit the shield once, then the likelihood goes up. A lot of people like to angle the shield up to like try to fuck up like some hits. So if you're like cognizant into that fact, you can like just time and space your down there perfectly to get the shield poke. Another good thing about it is you can um, drift. Um, why is that important? Because um, a lot of people know about the shield pressure with me. It's like plus minus one frame advantage. But every decent player is used to getting hit and chill with with like a knee. So are they, are you gonna, are you gonna make mistakes after getting hit? Not really, but if you use a stomp, like face value is minus like, it's not the best right compared to like a, a knee. It's hard to like get a quicker action out of it, but you can trick him. It's better, easier to trick people with. Why? Because you can stomp him and like, with no fast like it drifts back and forth. And um, it'll bait out choices. Because good choices will bait out. 
that like gives Falcon an advantage. So minor drift back here after you hit him like deep on the shield. And you can quickly punch him after. Some blocks like to shine, they try to like perfect wave shine and do that. But you know. So no no fast hold drifting. Really good. You can even drift like behind him too sometimes. <laughs> So again, a move that's, uh, you know, pretty tough to use at first for the beginner Falcon player. But once you like master like uh, aerial drifts, going for the shield poke, understanding like uh, how to best like use the move and what it's best for, it's almost never bad, you know, like it beats CC, but it, it's quite a valuable uh, move that you can like jump at people from our way too. Like it's a good risk reward like YOLO stomp. A lot of people like to do like YOLO YOLO knee. I mean that's okay. YOLO knee is okay, but um so even like at zero percent, like say you like you hit them hard, strong knee, like sometimes you can CC it encounters still at low percent really low percents. Like that'll never happen with stomp if you get like a clean hit. And it's less awkward like uh, seemingly when you hit it with the stomp as opposed to like a knee like knee if you're too close you can maybe get grabbed like that stomp you have to like kind of like hit too much in the front to be, like truly punish but you know you've crossed them up um good to go and if you try to do that with knee like cross up it's hard to get like a, a strong hit and do that compared to the stomp just by like a little bit. It's not by a whole lot. My point being, stomp is like seems to be a little better than yellow strong knee from cross stage. I guess Mars sometimes you want to do like a non fastful weak knee. The floatier types, it's more valuable. But this is assuming we're fighting like a uh, a fast follower that's likely to hold down and try to counter. In which case, stomp is better. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think of more ideas to stomp. Of course, for edge guarding, they um a fox like riding the wall up. You can do stomps repeatedly. Although they can mix up the timings and angles, and they can tech side B and get the sweet spot. So it, it's like a, it's still a pretty good choice, but I will never. I, I can't say it's always like optimal or even close to the best choice at moments. But a lot of the best players like Wizzy, they'll just like uh, methodic stomp people over and over. And a lot of pros, even the best Fox is still like tech, tech the stomp and the up B like, it'll be like right here. So that's like a free hit after. The proper players just like tech side B right away, but the best players still don't do it. <clears throat> so yeah, very valuable move. And again, a move that's like hard to use as a beginner, but the better you get with it, it becomes like a, amongst his best moves. Like I'd say Falcon's Gentleman, really good move, followed by uh, maybe Stomp. That's probably my top two, but Stomp has like a skill curve and hopefully this video helped you out with that. Any last things I can talk about Stomp? Let's talk about like the platform uh, Try to get him on a platform. <clears throat> well, here's a pretty important platform tech chase that you can do. No fast fall ace stomp right away. Do this correctly and you can actually uh, hit people and it'll be like a, a nipple spike. So it'll send them off, usually off in like a, an angle. Like the Sheik does like an up B. And you stomp him like right here on the left side. Say like she poofs up here and you stomp. She's gonna fly way the fuck to the right. If she's doing like to the right. Like way right over there. So you like you do the stomp. Immediately like uh, go for like the knee after the facts or up or whatever. Yeah, it's really good. A lot of people make the mistake of uh, 
from the platform tech chase. They just like uh, up air. And their opponent sees Caesar slides, slides off, that's all you're gonna get, so. In addition to like using the high high stomp coverage, try to cover multiple options with it. Edge cancel maybe, if you feel like it. It's more juicier to do like a stomp or a knee. Stomp tends to be the juiciest and cover like multiple options. Even if you tech like say you want to cover tech in place here. You tech to the right, do that. You just grab to the left, so. That has more value than just doing this from below. And that's like a huge mistake I see Falcon players make. Although you need you need some time for that to work, the platform tech chase from above. If you have a little less time, stomping like that might be the play. Because jumping up might not have enough time to cover your choice choices you want to. If also if you just have no choice or no not a lot of time at all, then you kinda just have to upgrade, right? Or go for some kind of play like wavelength on grab if they like if you catch them shielding too long you could try to make some like steel pressure play in there potentially is it optimal it tends not to be but sometimes not optimal is a proper play so yeah platform attack chases below is good and also mastering like the, the drifts and timing as you go high you can cover multiple options essential Essential if you want to beat the best players. So yeah, pretty much uh, talked about everything I can think I can talk about with Stomp and um, higher skill cap move, but absolutely worth like a uh, laving some shit out and adding it to like your any any Falcons like repertoire, like good or bad player. So yeah, thanks for watching.